What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your project using a scope box. Okay, so in this exercise, as you can see, I have already a Revit MEP project. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to link my architectural model. Okay, so let's say this one, I'm going to link that. All right, now the next thing that you need to do before we create the scope box to set up our views is I'm gonna copy the grids from the architectural model. Okay, so for me to be able to do that, I'll just go to the Collaborate tab, check out the coordinate, and then look for Copy Monitor. Just use Select Link. Let's select the link model. And we are now going to use Copy. Okay, so let's click that. Make sure the multiple option here is tick. All right, and then we are now going to use window selection. And then we are going to filter that because I only need the grids to copy. Okay, where is the grids? That's the one. I'm going to select here. Okay. There you go. And then after that, just select here, finish. All right, so it's now copied. So I'm now gonna close this one. And then usually when I set a project, okay, let me just select finish. After I copy the grids from the architectural model, I hide the architectural grids, okay? So for me to be able to do that, so I'll just go to the visibility graphic overrides. I go to the Revit links, and here's the link model. I go to the display settings, make sure it's custom. Let's go to the annotation categories, make sure this is custom. And then I'm just going to hide the grids here. So just uncheck that so that it will hide the grids from your link model so that you only have the link of your MEP. Okay, so now the next thing that we will be doing is, um, let's say I want to set up the views for HVAC. So I'm gonna duplicate this using a dependent view okay so duplicate as a dependent so just click that one so let's say what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do this by part so let's say this is part a area a and then here's my uh area b and then here's my area c okay so i'm gonna call this uh-huh this will gonna be uh area a enter and then let me duplicate again using duplicate as a dependent so this will gonna be uh, area B area B enter and then area C duplicate as a dependent rename area C right okay so now the next thing that we will be doing here is, oh, let me just put the section, uh, the grid bubble head. So I'm gonna select one grid. Let me go to the properties, edit type, and then I'm gonna make sure that plan view symbols for end one and end two is checked. Okay, and then just select your okay. And there you go. Right. So after that, let us now create our scope box. So from our parent view, which is this one, so I'm going to create the scope box. So from the view tab, so we will be selecting here scope box. So just click that one. So it controls the visibility of datum elements, grids, levels, and reference planes in specific view. Create a scope box, apply the scope box to datum elements, and then apply the scope box to desired view. So by the way, your scope box is a 3D. This is not 2D, so this is 3D. So I'm going to show it to you. So scope box. Okay, and then you can just put the name here. So let's say that will going to be for my area A. Enter. And then you can also specify the height here of your uh, scope box. But... For the moment, I'll just leave it as it is. So I'm going to pick the first point here, just here. 
and then let's adjust it just like that tidy up just like that all right okay so that's it for my area A and then let me create for my area B so I'm gonna select again the scope box so this will gonna be area uh, B all right and then so I'm gonna do it from here actually you can also copy let me just copy instead so I'm going to copy this uh, scope box so I'm gonna copy that just gonna put one here select modify and then I click the scope box so I can use the the arrow on my keyboard so maybe something like this and then I'll just adjust it somewhere here okay and uh, up to here or up to here okay all right and then I'm gonna open the 3d view of my scope box so I'm gonna select this and then I'm going to select here selection box so what I want to do is as you can see it's already cut based on the scope box I'm gonna click the scope box so make sure your scope box have enough height so make sure it encompass the whole building so if you have elements here below so make sure the scope box will cover that so it's okay even if your scope box is uh, very high as long as it covers the whole building okay so let me do it as well here on my scope box area B something like that okay just make sure it covers up the whole building so let me just go back again to one dash Mac because I'm gonna copy this area B for my area C I'm gonna copy that modify let me just check the property so as you can see it's area C so after I copy the area A the scope box followed the naming convention so this one automatically becomes area V and then this one automatically becomes area C okay so let me just adjust it uh-huh so let me just put it somewhere here like that and then like that okay okay just here okay right so the next thing that I'm gonna do is uh, let me just double check my scope box so I'm gonna select my area B so I'm gonna click that one and then open up the section box for that or selection box and so that's now my area B and then let me see my area C let's click this selection box and that's my uh, area C all right so after we set up the scope box for our area A area B and area C the next thing that we will be doing is we are now going to open our area A and then set it up to scope box area A okay so let's open up one dash Mac area A and then after that let's go to the properties and then we just need to make sure that the scope box here is set up to area A just like that okay and then I don't need to show this box here and by the way if you want to adjust this one this uh, model box to crop your model elements you cannot do it here you need to adjust the main parent view here you need to adjust the scope box okay and let me just hide this right click and let me just hide that and there you go so our area A is now set up let's go to area B and same procedure without selecting any objects or any elements go to the properties move the slider down and then look for scope box make sure this is area B apply that's it and then let's hide this right click hide in view to tidy up okay and then let's go to our area C and uh, let's go to properties make sure the scope box here is set to area C and then apply that's it all right so let me just hide the crop region and then the annotation crop and there you have it 
Okay, so basically that's how you set up your views, which is uh, this is advisable instead of uh, cropping your view manually using these two tools here, this one. So it would be better you set up your project using your uh, scope box. Okay, right. So hopefully you learned something from this video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.